Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Harry Wolf and you're watching The Joy of Coding. Today we're going to have a fun little code exercise making our own custom React hook. We're going to do some live coding together, talking through the problem space and learning how to write our own global event handler with a custom React hook. Shall we code? So what we want to code today is essentially something that when somebody clicks somewhere on the page here, we want to be able to take some behavior. React doesn't really have a good solution for this right now because everything that lives outside React is outside React, so it's hard to do. Of course, saying button on click, um, alert high. So having a button that can cause an on-click event works fine within React, but if we just want to have a click event anywhere here, uh, there's no way to do that. So instead, what we have to do is use some vanilla DOM APIs. Dun, dun, dun. Um, uh, the way that you actually do this with the DOM is you have this nice little document dot add event listener. You put in the type of the event you want to listen to on the document object, and then the handler. So here what we want to do is a word, whoa, like that. So if I add this, if I now click anywhere here, we got that whoa going on. Uh, let me refresh that page, because that's gonna get annoying real quick. But doing this inside React is uh, not really a thing that we wanna do. And of course we could wrap it in use effect if we wanted to, um, but so import that. Uh, we can wrap it in effect, but that doesn't become really reusable. And that, of course, is where a custom hook becomes in. Um, in these scenarios, what I actually like to do is write the API that I want. Like, I, I like to pretend that it already exists to write how I'd like to use this. So what I want to do here is call um, uh, use, event, use event listener. Why is everything lagging? Uh, use event listener, call it with a click, and then here is my callback where I can do alert, I'm global, just like that. So this is the API that I want to have work for us. So let's start with that. So we're gonna do function use event hook, we're gonna take the uh, event type and the handler, and uh, we're gonna use a use effect because this is a thing that has to be done outside the realm of React. And we're gonna say that in here, uh, when this is first ran, we're gonna do document dot add event listener. We're gonna pass in the event type, and then we're gonna pass in the handler. And of course, because we are a good citizen of the internet, uh, we actually want to remove this event listener when this component is removed from the page. So we do this here, and we can do document uh, dot remove event listener, event type, handler. And this is a key part of this API, remove event listener, is that um, you need to pass in both the event type and handler combo so that only that handler is removed from the document object. Now we don't want this to run on every render of the page. We just want to run it when the handler or when the, uh, let's say when the event type or the handler changes for us to be nice and exhaustive. So we can save that and try it out, and it is working as expected. Um, the issue here, which I want to kind of highlight, is I uh, want to do console uh, effect ran. I'm going to save that. Uh, when I click hello, it's doing that there, effect ran. Um, What's well, doing on every, let's just have it be logging because this is going to get real old real flat fast. Um, let's actually add, I just want to show this example here. So I have a count set count equals u state zero. And then instead of doing alert high here, what it's going to do is do set count uh, c c plus one. And I'm going to do this count. So what we're going to say here, oops, uh, is Whenever you click the button, we're gonna increment the count here and display it. And I wanna show you what happens here. So refresh the page, when I click this, uh, you can see here effect ran, I am global. Uh, effect ran, 
So this is what I'm looking for is effect ran. Um, and this is happening every time that I click the button. So let me comment this out just because we don't need this right now. Click, click, click. Every time that I increment this count, the effect is being ran, uh, which means that I am removing the event listener and then adding it back on. And that is probably not the best thing because it's causing a lot of thrashing on this object. The reason for that is because every time that this function re-renders, this is an inline function. This is an inline function, which means that it's being defined again every time. And because this is a dependency in here, uh, it's being re-ran. So a few ways to fix this. One, you could be mean and just remove the handler from there. Uh, so it works, but it means that if you ever want to change this handler, you have no way of doing that because uh, it's only going to run it once, but you're not giving yourself the real flexibility that you'd expect from any component here. So that's not really an option. Um, what you could do also is you could do, uh, you could use um, a thing, uh, use callback, which is another React hook that lets you actually, um, let's just do this be console log, uh, use callback handler right here. And we'll pass this in over there. And what this lets us do is essentially, uh, what is this thing about this? Callback. Uh, only one argument, you have to pass the dependency. Uh, I have no, oh yes, so the dependencies of when this um, use callback should call again. Uh, I don't want this to be changed at all. Um, I just want this to be here. So what this use callback does, it essentially lets me memoize the callback handler. So that when I actually call this again, uh, it's only calling the use callback handler here, but not also rerunning the handler because this is being memoized here like this. So it's being nice and safely protected from being reran every time this function re-renders. Um, that's fine, this works great, but it puts a big emphasis on the consumer to know about this gotcha, which isn't great. Uh, you can't really assume that everyone's gonna know that they have to wrap their handler in a use callback. So in my books, that's also a no go. Luckily, there is a third option, which is the most complicated option, where we can Effectively, so the big issue with having this run every time is the thrashing that's going on with the document. There's no need for us to remove the listener and add the listener when we know that the handler has effectively not changed. So the fix for this is one that the React docs also recommend uh, right here. It's what can I do if my effect dependency is changed too often? So what that looks like is instead of having the handler be directly put into here, what you can do is make a um, uh, handler ref, use ref, call that in, we're gonna pass in the handler. Use ref lets us have a object that persists across renders of the component. Um, and then instead of having this handler here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do function um, internal handler. And here, this is gonna get the event object and it's return handler, handler ref current, which is the user ref API. And then this is what we're actually gonna use here. And then we're gonna call this like that. And this should be working as is right now. So if I call this, uh, if I uncomment this out, I'm global, right? So it's running the effect once, it's calling the global every time, which is great, but it's not when you call click, it's not also rewriting the effect, which is awesome. But the issue is that this isn't really being changed. Let's say I'm global and I want this to do, um, to also log the count. If I do this here, it's staying at zero. And of course it is because this is never getting updated. So instead what you can do is make another use effect which this one is gonna be nice and cheap. And all we can do here is do handler ref current equals handler. So let's save that, do this here. And here we have things working as expected. The reason for that is that whenever this use state is incrementing the count, it's gonna recreate this function, which goes into use event listener. 
And then this use effect is going to rerun every time and assign the handler to the ref. This internal handler has a reference to this object, this ref object, which means that this current value is always going to be fresh. So when it actually calls the internal handler, it'll call the correct and up-to-date function handler. Um, we could add in here handler, but I would actually argue that's superfluous. It actually adds performance costs to this custom hook because with this function handler, we have to do a comparison check every time this effect is ran, but we don't really care. We can just blindly assign this effect to the ref object and not really worry about that. Assignment here is cheap. It'll be cheaper to assign this here than it would be to have the effect dependency array there. That is a nice little walkthrough of making your own kind of complex uh, event listener. Uh, sorry, your own kind of complex uh, custom React hook. Hopefully that was interesting and informative to you. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, become one. New videos every week in your inbox. And I'll catch you again on the next one. Bye.